People call it a minor back surgery. It's only a minor back surgery if it's on someone else. If it's on you, it's not a minor back surgery. I have a friend of mine, Mark Schlereth, who had 29 surgeries in his career. He had 16 on one knee and he had one back surgery. He said, I would take 16 more knee surgeries than one more back surgery. It was just a minor discectomy yeah. to relieve some pressure, all that kind of stuff. But once you have one back surgery, here's the, here's the thing. You're probably going to have more. So the idea that, that this is a one and done for Caleb Farley, just historically based on how this injury plays out, is very unlikely. There's no such thing, in my opinion, Tony, as a minor back surgery. Go back to the story on Monday, Pro, Pro Football Network, that I wrote with the news and rumors. There are already teams that have a second round grade on Farley. They already have him graded as the number four cornerback in this year's draft. After Patrick Sertain, after J.C. Horn of uh, South Carolina, after Greg Newsom, Northwestern, and now oh. he's fighting, basically fighting to get back on, according to the, many of these teams' boards, to get back into the late part of round one. Remember, he also opted out. I mean, all those other guys played tremendous this year. Uh, Sertain, J.C. Horn especially, Greg Newsom. Uh, so it's not just the fact that he's got the back issue, the back surgery, which I agree with you. You know, if you have one, it's very easy to have more in the future. But he also opted out. So, I mean, and there were other cornerbacks that teams like a lot. And he opted out with previous back issues before yeah. that. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's not just this one thing. And again, I hope the kid balls out. I hope he plays well. I hope it's not a thing. I'm just being honest about it. Like, back surgeries are not a thing you want lingering over you.